The World Socialist Web Site is an international socialist news site that is the online news and information publication of the International Committee of the Fourth International The World Socialist Web Site publishes articles and analysis of news and events from around the world, updated daily. The site also includes coverage of the history of working class political and organized labor movements. Topic <laughs> about The World Socialist Website (WSWS) was established on February 14, 1998 as an online purveyor of socialist news and analysis. The site was launched as a means of turning the official organ of the Workers' League, the newspaper The Bulletin, into an online newspaper. The site was redesigned on October 22, 2008. The WSWS supports and helps campaign for the Socialist Equality Parties in elections. The site has no advertisements, except for material from Mehring Books, the ICFI's publishing arm. Instead, it sustains itself through the donations of readers and supporters. David North serves as chairman of the site's international editorial board. WSWS articles are often collated by the Asian Tribune and AllAfrican.com regional news sites, and its articles are also regularly cited in newspapers in Asia. Writers for the World Socialist website deliver lectures on a variety of topics to meetings of the International Youth and Students for Social Equality and other events, including Marx theory, history, art, and war. Content The World Socialist Web Site periodically undertakes focused political campaigns, during which numerous articles, videos, interviews, and perspectives are published on the topic. Campaigns undertaken by the WSWS include defending Julian Assange and Edward Snowden, civil rights and free speech, intervention in the 2015 United Automobile Workers UAW concessions contract and other contract negotiations, and the opposition to utility shutoffs and bankruptcy in Detroit. The WSWS is against what it sees as imperialist wars. Topic sections The Daily Perspective article presents the position of the WSWS on a range of political, theoretical, and historical issues. News articles which cover the day's significant international political and economic developments Arts Review, under the editorship of Marxist arts critics David Walsh and Joanne Laurier critiquing films, film festivals, music selections, theatre productions, and writing lectures concerning art and socialism science, human genetics, evolution, the Internet, space research and astronomy, and climate change workers' struggles reporting from picket lines across the world, and inviting workers to write in about their experiences History lectures focused on the 20th century philosophy lectures which defend philosophical materialism and oppose idealism this week in history, providing brief synopses of important historical events occurring 25, 50, 75, and 100 years ago ICFI, Marxist Library, the historical and international foundations of the Socialist Equality Party is archived, along with original translations of classic Marxist literature, with works by James P. Cannon, Leon Trotsky, Vladimir Lenin, and Karl Marx. Notable interviews The World Socialist Web Site publishes interviews with workers, students, academics, and artists. Julian Assange, founder of Wikileaks Chris Hedges, Pulitzer Prize awarded journalist Cindy Sheehan, American anti-war activist 
Robert B., Professor Emeritus at Berkeley University James McPherson, American Civil War historian Mary Liuzzo Lillibo, daughter of Viola Liuzzo Mark Edwards, civil engineer, on the Flint Water Crisis Tom Hurwitz, award-winning cinematographer Mose Allison, jazz and blues singer Tatiana Izeva, granddaughter of the Marxist literary critic Alexander Voronsky Tatiana Smilga Poluyan, daughter of left opposition member Eva Smilga Yuri Primakov, daughter of left opposition member Vitaly Primakov Zoya Leonidovna Serebryakova, daughter of the leading Bolshevik and left oppositionist Leonid Serebryakov Daniel Tedesco, director of The Wrecking Crew Sybrina Fulton and Tracy Martin, parents of Trayvon Martin Robert and Michael Miropol, sons of Julius and Ethel Rosenberg Helen Edmondson, author of the play Mary Shelley Andrew L. Moore, author of Detroit Disassembled Brian D. Palmer, biographer of James P. Cannon Professor Emanuel Ness Stephen Starr, anti-nuclear activist Roy Scranton, author of War Porn Victoria Bynum, author of Free State of Jones Alan Guelzo, historian Philippe Leore, director of Welcome Babak Jalali, director of Radio Dreams Ted Dorr, author of Into the River James Naramore, film historian He Jianjin, director of River People <inaudible> Centenary of the Russian Revolution The World Socialist website commemorated the Russian Revolution of 1917. The site published a weekly chronology entitled This Week in the Russian Revolution, which brought forward global events, Russian events, culture, and political questions each week throughout 1917. Writers of the World Socialist Web site participated in a lecture series concerning questions surrounding the Russian revolutions of February and October. The WSWS also published new, original translations of documents published by Vladimir Lenin and Leon Trotsky during 1917. Topic: <laughs> Demotion in Google searches. In July 2017, the World Socialist website began to oppose new Google search algorithms, which it believes is a form of Google censorship, and claims that the changes are intended to remove fake news. The WSWS has used evidence from SEMrush, an analytics suite for search engine optimization, that showed that several socialist and anti-war news sites had received reduced traffic from Google due to changes in its search algorithm. According it is said, between late April 2017 and the beginning of August 2017, WSWS.org Google search traffic fell by 67%. This is not an accident," David North told The New York Times in September 2017. This is some form of deliberate intervention. He was "...against censorship in any form," and speculated, "...it's not going to stop with the World Socialist website. It's going to expand and spread." The newspaper, using SimilarWeb, could not find the same level of traffic declines at all of left publications." Google has rejected the claim it has consciously targeted any website, but Google VP Ben Gomez wrote that Google had adjusted its signals to help surface more authoritative pages and demote low-quality content. 
The documentary filmmaker John Pilger has offered his support for the website in its response to Google.